Hey kids, now welcome to another episode of Fun and Learning with Teacher Jenny. Of course, today we are going to learn science. Flashback. What is matter? Now, matter is defined as anything that has mass and volume. You have to remember that mass is the amount of matter in certain object. End of flashback. Meanwhile, and which among these three is the standard unit for measuring the volume? What? If you are talking about the amount of space a matter takes up, we are now referring to volume. Now, how the volume of matter is measured depends on its state. So, for example, the volume of liquids is measured by measuring containers. And in the kitchen, liquid volume is usually measured by cups or spoons and in the laboratory the volume or the liquid volume is measured with containers such as the graduated cylinders the beakers and many others this in the metric system for liquid volume includes the liter and milliliter the gas is the volume of gases depends on the volume of their container that's because gases expand to fill whatever space is available to them. For example, as you drink water from a bottle, air rushes in to take the place of the water. So an empty liter bottle actually holds a liter of air. Now how could you find the volume of air in an empty room? To answer this one, we have to check the volume of the solids what or we have to get the dimension of the room through getting the volume of solids but how now the volume of regularly shaped solids can be calculated for their dimensions now, for example the volume of a rectangular solid is equal to the product of its length width and height l times w times h is equal to its volume. That will be the formula that we are going to use. Now, usually for solids, the standard units of measurements are cubic centimeters or cubic meters. These are often commonly used for volume measurements. Now, let's have an example. For example, you have a rectangular box with a dimension of 10 centimeters as its weight, 15 centimeters as its height, and the length of the rectangular box is about 25 centimeters. Now, what is the volume of this rectangular box? Now, in order for you to get its volume, you have to take note of the given and then use the formula again what is our formula volume is equal to length times width times height next is to substitute those letters into numbers so again what are the given length is 25 centimeters height is 15 centimeters and the width is 10 centimeters then use the formula and then solve by multiplying or getting its product. Now 25 times 15 or 25 times 10 times 15 is equal to 3750 centimeter cube. Why is it cube? Because we multiplied 
the three dimensions of the rectangular box, which are the length times width times height. Here's another problem for you to solve. What is the volume of box with the dimension of the following? Length is 75 centimeters. Width is 50 centimeters. And its height is 30 centimeters. So what is the answer? Is this your answer? Well then, good job! Thank you very much for tuning in to our episode. And now, for more fun and learning activities, don't forget to subscribe and tune in for another episode here in this channel. Bye-bye!